Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us and today uh, in uh, my country we are experiencing the democratic circus on a large scale it means so-called elections and uh, actually I have to tell you that there, there were many electoral campaigns since 1989 so the official year of the breakthrough of the tra so-called transformation so-called we know because uh, people from old uh, communistic apparatus actually remained intact and they uh, actually preserved their uh, state of uh, their social positions and the state of possessions let's say secret service academy of science police uh, participation in the largest uh, state-owned companies, participation in a so-called wild privatization in the early 1990s. They, from the communistic secretaries, they became great in quotation businessmen. Uh, also, there were many mm, scandals, like scandals with funds uh, that were responsible for dealing with Polish debt and so on, a famous scandal not not cl uh, clearly expla explained and cl clearly investigated even uh, after 32 years ago uh, after th after 32 years since the moment when it was revealed and many many other things and all uh, governments since 1989 have the same tendency more or less colonial mentality or we should be dependent on uh, European uh, Kolkhoz, so European Union, European Communists, or we should be dependent on Anglo-Saxons, especially Americans, or maybe someone else. So we don't have politicians who think uh, with Polish interests, who, pe who think independently, and who would be ready to have uh, independent politics, uh, in internal and external none of them that's why uh, i call it another democratic circus i don't know who will win but personally it doesn't matter so much because we are currently under the orbit of mainly anglo-saxon influence plus german influence uh, so these influences are fighting with each other and there is also third and fourth player third player is russia it's more subtle influence into Poland. Uh, they are interested in hijacking and taking over the main energetic companies and uh, main uh, main places that still excavate energetic resources. And there is a fourth player. This is uh, the country in the Middle East that is now fighting uh, with the Gaza Strip. Actually, these are all historical connections plus also the tendency of Polish elite to be, be prone to, to have additional money into their pockets. And we know such contacts are very easily established if both sides are willing. That's why uh, like the company from this country which is now fighting in the Gaza Strip uh, both uh, in many big Polish cities, uh, purchased in many big Polish cities for symbolic price, the the canalizations, so sewer systems, and they are collecting money from it, the company from this country, and many, many other things. So we see that we are actually not a dependent country, we are dependent on different forces, Anglo-Saxon, German, Russian, and this one, from this small country that is now fighting in the Gaza Strip. So w I don't think that elections will change something uh, really uh, profoundly. Uh, the only difference is if so-called current opposition takes over, we will have uh, a little bit a quicker process in becoming like the West. So attack of LG LGBT ideology and other stuff introducing all of these changes if this country that currently has power will uh, will hold uh, keep it for longer uh, we will have slower process in this direction 
and so on and so on. And when opposition comes, uh, we will have quicker privatization of the, uh, of course, in a wild terms to colleagues and friends, quicker privatization of the remaining uh, Polish enterprises. If the current uh, party will stay in power, this process will be, in my opinion, a little bit slower. But we see nothing ser serious will change. This is my opinion about current political situation in Poland. All the best. Have a nice day. Bye.